This video will demonstrate how to reconnect your ArcScan Ethernet printer to a new, changed, or updated network using a Windows computer. ArcScan's YouTube channel offers free help and tips for label printers and other e-commerce technology. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. We will go over the steps on how to enable DHCP in the printer, reconnect the printer to your network, and update the printer driver settings. First, make sure that the printer is powered on with a blue light on top, and that you have an ethernet cable connected to your router and to the back of your printer. If there is a good connection, you will see a solid orange light on the top left of the ethernet port and a blinking green light on the top right. You will also need to attach the USB cable to the printer and the computer. Let's proceed by opening a web browser and going to the website arcscan.com driver. Click on the Windows drop-down list and then the Ethernet tab and click the link to download the printer tool. Depending on your browser, the download status will show in different locations. Chrome is in the bottom left. Firefox is the top right. Edge is also in the top right. But by default, they are all set to go to the Windows download folder. After completion of downloading the file, click in the browser to open the file or go to your download folder and double click to open the compressed zip file called diagnostictool.zip. Once opened, drag the folder called printer tool onto your computer's desktop. If you try to run the program while it's still inside the compressed zip file, the software's language will not show as English. Double click to open the printer tools folder now, double-click on the printertool.exe file. You may get a Windows protection message. If so, click on More Info, and then Run Anyway. Windows may also prompt that it needs to install the .NET framework if it has not previously been installed on the computer. These files are necessary for the printer tool to run and must be downloaded and it can take between 5 to 10 minutes to download. In the printer tool, select USB as your interface and then get status. Verify that the status dot turns green to confirm that the USB connection is good. Click the Ethernet Setup button, select the DHCP option, and then set IP to save. Your printer should respond with a beep. Now, turn the printer power off, disconnect the USB cable from the printer and your computer, and then turn the printer power back on. Select the Ethernet interface, and then Setup. Now, Discover and you should see your printer appear in the list with an IP address. If the printer is not listed, switch the printer power off and then back on. Wait 10 seconds and then try the Discover button again. If you continue to have trouble, verify that your printer and computer are on the same network as each other. If you are using a gigabit network, Using your network settings, reduce the speed to the port that the printer is plugged into to a 10 or 100 megabit base T speed. To test that the printer is accessible from your computer, click on Get in the bottom right corner, and a good connection will populate data in the fields and also show your printer version and serial number. Now, we highly suggest setting the printer's IP address to static instead of DHCP so that your computer can permanently connect to the printer with the same unchanged IP address. 
DHCP will continue to work until your network reassigns a new IP address for the printer. Click on the Ethernet Setup button. Change the selection from DHCP to Static. This IP address is the device identity within your computer network. Be sure and copy it or write it down. We will need this IP address to set up the printer's driver later in the video. Click Set IP to save and the printer will beep to confirm. Close out of the window. We can now exit out of the diagnostic tool. Now we need to update the printer driver with this new IP address. In the Windows taskbar, find the search box or magnifying glass and type the word printer. Select printers and scanners when it appears. Find and click on your ArcScan Wi-Fi printer in the list. Click Manage, Printer Properties, and then click on the Ports tab. Click Add Port, Standard TCP IP Port, New Port Button. Next, type or paste the IP address we retrieved in the Diagnostic Tool. Next, this search process can take a minute or two. This next window looks like an error message, but it can be ignored. Click Next and then Finish. Close and then Apply and OK to save these settings. The printer is now reconnected to the network and ready to use. If our content has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel where we will continue to offer free tips and help for our label printer users. And be sure to click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of our future releases. And please use the add comments section below to contact us with your questions or feedback. Thank you.